What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Trianus here with a lovely video for you. And today we are going to be going over the 6.0.2 patch changes for Arcane Mages. Now I could do Frost and Fire, but currently I am spec'd and naturally spec'd as Arcane because in my opinion it has the best DPS. I have yet to try Fire, Frost is okay, but I have yet to try Fire. But based on what I have played and what I've seen, Arcane is at the top of the food chain for mages. So I wanted to go over the talent changes that they implemented and then some of the ability changes. There are certain things that they removed and then there are also certain things that they kind of like flip-flop. So depending on your spec, it, your abilities will replace other abilities. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. Let's go. All right. Um, couple of things. First off, Arcane Barrage, which is right here. This now replaces Fire Blast. So we no longer have Fire Blast as an ability to help, you know, with our DPS. I never really used it anyway as an Arcane Mage, but I'm sure some people did. Arcane, oh, excuse me. Arcane Blast is now replacing Fire Frost Firebolt, which I never even used as, a, as an Arcane Mage, so I don't know why that makes much of a difference, but if you didn't know, Arcane Blast is our main DPS ability. Arcane Explosion, which is one of the main AoE abilities for a mage, is only available to Arcane Mages. So Frost and Fire will not have it. Sad face. Um, Mana Gem has been removed, which is actually something new that I'm still getting used to because I'm used to being able to use a Mana Gem to help replenish my mana to keep my DPS up. Um, but they did kind of compensate for that by making Evocation only to Arcane Mages. And I don't know how Frost and Fire Mages are handling this. I'm, you know, loving it because now when you use it initially, you gain 10% of your total mana instantly and then another 30% of it over 4.94 seconds or 5 seconds, whatever. I think haste affects the cast time. Um, as a Arcane Mage, we no longer have Ice Lance which is what I used to use to kite shit around. You know, I would pop up my slows and then just run around spamming Ice Lance, but, you know, they had to do what they had to do. <laughs> now, the three armors that mages had, which was Frost Armor, Fire Armor, and Mage Armor, have all become passives, and depending on your spec, you get that, you know, you get that armor. So, Frost gets Frost Armor, Fire gets Fire Armor, and, you know, mages we get, or Arcane Mages, we get Mage Armor. And it still has the same ability, it increases your mastery, and then reduces duration of harmful magics. Um, so that is nice, you don't have to worry about every time you die having to put that back on, or, or anything like that. You just have arcane intellect to worry about. So, that's definitely nice. And then Icy Flows, which is a talent, which you know I'll be going over here shortly. It, unlike before, where it would only work for abilities that worked that, that had a cast time of over 4 seconds, it now works for any ability. So it works for Arcane Blast, Arcane Missiles, um, which is nice because it definitely helps kite around. Like if you're dying, you know, pop a Frost Nova and then pop Icy Flows, and you can just kite them around. Especially with Arcane, as we have a slow ability, which is right here, and it's also applied by Arcane Blast. Um, that definitely, you know, that helps even more. Um, those are some of the biggest abilities. Um, Mirror Image was removed and turned into a talent, which I'll be going over here shortly. Um, we still have, for the most part, we still have our main ability, you know, a lot of our main spells. We have Blink, kind of cold, arcane power, um, you know, arcane intellect, our refreshments, things like that. They're all pretty much still here. Invisibility, Ring of Frost. Blah blah blah. They're all still here. Uh, the only new ability that they really added in, like as for every spec, is Amplify Magic, which increases your healing received. And um, yeah, our healing received for 10% for all party and raid members for six seconds. Um, that I have not really found a way to use that. Usually, I'll use it like if the raid is dying or after a heavy DPS, you know, a heavy you know damage situation in raids. I'll pop that to help heal everybody back up. We still have time warp or teleport, spell steal, slow fall. You get the picture. We still have our abilities. Um, so, with that being said, uh, the two other things for Arcane Mages is Arcane Charges, which are given for every Arcane Blast you use, you gain one charge, and it increases, for every charge, it increases the mana cost for your Arcane Blast. 
Um, so it gets up to 400% at four charges. And those charges are pretty much used for increasing the amount of targets that your that your arcane barrage hits. Your arcane barrage's damage is increased by 50% per arcane charge and hits one additional target for 50% damage. So, you know, when you hit four charges, you use arcane barrage and it gets rid of your charges, reset your charges, and then you just keep going. It's pretty simple. Um, but those are the initial changes when it comes to the ability pruning that Blizzard implemented. Um, so I want to go ahead and go over the talents. This is where there is quite a difference <laughs> in the changes for mages. Um, presence of mind, which you'll see right here, is now only for arcane mages. So the other two specs do not have it, and because of that, they ended up replacing it with Evanes, which you fade into the nether, avoiding all damage to you for three seconds. It's castable while another spell is in progress, um, but the only downfall is that it replaces Ice Block. So I don't know, and it, it only has a 45 second cooldown, so that's not too bad, but I haven't found a proper situation for it. Um, it might be decent in PvP. If you guys know, leave it in the comments below. I don't really have a you know a huge idea um alter time which was one of our core dps and not so much dps but like one of our abilities to help our dps it was it was to help keep your offensive cooldowns up uh that has been turned into a talent replacing temporal shield um they did this to kind of you know help base off you know they wanted to remove an ability that like nobody used. I never saw anybody using Temporal Shield, so they wanted to put it as a talent. Um, Cold Snap, which is has always been here at the level 60 talents. This no longer replaces um, your Ice Block, Frost Nova, and Presence of Mind, but depending on your spec, it also reduces or um, like refreshes the cooldown for Evanes and Dragon's Breath. Um, so that's kind of like, that would be good in a CC situation, you know, if you're playing mage and then another class you need to CC is fire, you know, you use your dragon's breath, you cold snap, and then use it again to help, you know, help your CC. That could definitely be beneficial. Um, ice ward, which has been where you throw it on a, a target friendly and the next person to hit that target, there, it triggers a frost nova, freezing them in place. Um. That now is up to three targets, so the next three melee attacks will trigger a Frost Nova. The only downfall for that is that Shatter, which increases your crit chance or your crit damage on frozen targets, is only for Frost Mages now. So I don't really see that as a necessity for Arcane Mages. It's definitely stuck between Ring of Frost for PvE and possibly Frost Jaw for PvP. Um, I don't think Ice Ward, I mean, Ice Ward would be good for, you know, snares and, and, and CCing them, but that's about it. I mean, I personally don't think I'll ever use it. That's just me, though. Um, for the level 75 talent tree and the level 90 talent tree, that's where the two biggest changes were implemented. Um, for level 75, it used to be Nether Tempest, Living Bomb, and Frost Bomb. Now they changed it up to where, depending on your spec, as you'll see here, I'm switching between Frost and Fire. If you look at right here, this switches to Frost Bomb, and I go to Arcane, this switches to Nether Tempest. And as Fire, it's Living Bomb. So, depending on your spec, that first talent of level 75 is one of your three, you know, one, one of those three bombs, depending on your spec. Now, Nether Tempest was changed. Um, now, it's only limited to one target. Unlike before, it was unlimited targets. But, in compensation for that, it now hits all all targets within range and the damage of your nether tempest is is in it, uh, bleh, bleh, is increased by 50% per arcane charge so you know for the best dps you want to get four arcane charges use nether tempest and then spam arcane barrage and that way you know and then you just rinse and repeat that's probably the best way to keep nether tempest up and doing the most possible damage um Unstable magic here. This is a new um, new ability. Arcane blast, fireball, frost firebolt, and frost bolt have a 15% chance to explode on impact, dealing an additional 50% damage to the target and to all other enemies within eight yards. So this has definitely become like the AOE talent tree. Um, and for arcane mage, you get an ability called supernova. It causes a pulse of arcane energy around the target, dealing X amount of arcane damage to all enemies within 8 yards and knocking them upwards. 
a primary target will increase their damage taken by 100% and there's two charges. The only downfall again is that it replaces your Frost Nova. So this can be good for PvP as kind of a CC, or not a CC, I'm sorry, a uh, interrupt. You know, you use it when they're casting and it'll interrupt their ability but you no longer have Frost Nova. So you have to weigh your pros and cons here on whether what would be the most useful. But for PvE, it's definitely between Unstable Magic and Nether Tempest, at least in my opinion. And then we move on to the level 90. Um, for level 90, they, de they did remove Encanter's Ward um, and replaced it for Mirror Image, which is the same ability as it's always been. Um, Rune of Power is still here, but this no longer replaces Evocation. It lasts 3 minutes up from 1 minute, and it no longer increases your mana regen, but it does increase your spell power. So, for something like this, I haven't seen anybody using Rune of Power because of this new ability right here. This um, is now Encanter's Flow, which was replaced by Encanter's Ward, I'm sorry. Um, Encanter's Ward replaced Encanter's Flow, and Invocation was replaced by Mirror Image. I couldn't think of the frickin' ability. Um, this now causes magical energy to flow through you while you're in combat, building up to 20% increased damage, and then diminishing down to 4% increased damage, cycling every 10 seconds. So your damage is constantly going up and down, but at the same time, you don't have to worry about a, an ability or anything like that. Your spell damage is just always being affected. Um... And then we have our level 100 talent trees, which, I mean, are, are level 100 talents, but, you know, at the moment, they're not really, you know, worth looking at, but we'll look at them anyway. You get three abilities as an arcane mage, you get overpowered, which casting arcane missiles extends your arcane power by two seconds. We have prismatic crystal, which conjures a prismatic crystal on the target location, which is attackable by only the mage and takes 30% additional damage. When the crystal takes damage, it instantly releases a burst of energy dealing that damage split evenly between all enemies within 8 yards, so that's definitely a good AoE ability. And then we have Arcane Orb, which I presume is probably like Frost Orb. It launches an Arcane Orb forward, dealing up to four or up to 40 yards, dealing two, almost 2,000 damage to all enemies it passes through. And for every damage it does, it grants you an Arcane Charge. So that's probably a good way to spam the hell out of Arcane Barrage. You know, you use that and then just spam Arcane Barrage because you'll gain Arcane Charges so quickly. So I think it's definitely going to be be stuck between these two for uh, AoE DPS because Arcane Mages definitely lack AoE except for Nether Tempest but I mean what can you do and then Glyphs are pretty much the same they haven't really changed it up Arcane Power is still the same Blink is still the same uh, Frost Cone of Cold I mean the only new ones that they added in were Regenerative Ice you gain 4% of your maximum health every one second um, and I think that's it. And then they did take certain talents which are only limited to certain specs. So Deep Freeze is only turned to Frost. Uh, you know, and, and I obviously Splitting Ice is no longer for us. But, um, and then the bottom ones are still the same. So that is it for the serious Arcane Mage changes. There are other things, but a lot of them are more towards the specs than anything else. If you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a big old thumbs up, and maybe next video I will go over the Frost or Fire changes. Or maybe I'll jump over to the Hunter or my Warrior. I'm not sure yet. We'll figure it out. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next video. See ya! I'm so